So we will create our next class here. We're going to call this one my ENC example one. And we will be using DES, which is data encryption standard. There is another one which is more secure. It's AES, which is advanced encryption standard. And the information about all these standards and how to use them is available on Java's website. I'll be using a try catch block, a simple one. I know there are different kind of exceptions that can be used with encryption, but I'm just using a simple one here, a generic one. And AES, which is a symmetric encryption algorithm, is actually used by US for securing sensitive but unclassified documents. The AES standard. So we have a key generator object that we use to generate key. This is where you can decide what standard you're using, AES or DES. After that, We create our secret key, which is a hash code for encryption and decryption for this particular program. So here, my DES key is based on the key generator dot generate key. So it generates a key. After that, I create my cipher object, which allows me to cipher the data. And again, these are also available on the website. You could be creating instances of different algorithms. I'm using the DEC ECB. PKCS5 padding. So the first thing I do is I initialize my cipher object for encryption. So my cipher object that I have here, I am initializing it to do encryption. Mm -hmm. This encryption will be done using the following key. No, it is CS5 padding. CS5 padding. Next, I need uh, to create my sensitive data. And now I would like to show you this data in its byte form.
followed by the same data in text form. So that you could see the difference between byte versus text, but in both cases, it is not encrypted yet. It's still clear text. Did everybody see their output? Because our next step would be to encrypt this text, and then you should be able to how it looks like after encryption. So I'll create another byte array. This will be an encrypted text. So cipher dot do final text. Next, let's have a look at it. So we have text in bytes, which is text E and C. And then we have text encrypted, which is text E and C in a string form. And I want you to look at the output so that you can see how it looks like encrypted versus plain text. If you look at line number 15, you will copy that and paste it on line 22, and you will open it for decryption mode as opposed to encryption mode. So you'll simply take this line, copy it and paste it, and you will now open the cipher for decryption. After that, it's same thing as line number 19. You copy paste the byte array, which will now be a text deciphered. And instead of text, you're deciphering encrypted text. And then system.out.println you know, the decrypted text is shown back, text decrypted, okay? So now when you run this example, you could see that you get the original text back on the very last line. 